I'm going to show you how to do a transparent background in Silhouette Studios. So I'm going to go to my Silhouette Studio app. It downloaded it for free um, offline. I do believe I went online to get it. And it was free. They do have versions that you can pay for. But this one is free. And this tutorial is simple, simple, simple once you learn how to do it. So you're just going to go up here to the folder. You're going to click on it. And you're going to find a photo that you would like to be transparent. So it's my son's graduation in a week. And so I've been making graduation shirts. So I'm just going to click on that file. Proud mom of a 2024 graduate. And as you can see, it has a white background. What I am going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit larger. And then I'm going to go over here to this bread shape. I'm going to click the bread shape. I'm going to go over here to select trace area. Click on it, and then I'm going to select the area that I want to be traced. I'm going to select the entire thing. As you can see, there some of it is yellow, some of it is not. We want all of it to be yellow. So we're going to go over here to Threshold. Click on it. We're going to move this little cursor up until our entire image is covered in yellow. And you can keep going. I like to do mine at 100%. And then you're going to go down here to the bottom it says trace outer edge and that's what we want to do so we are going to select that and it is outlined in red you can't really see it here because my writing is orange but it is outlined in red that means we have traced the entire area then we are going to go over here to this rectangle and circle we're gonna click on that and you'll have options that's going to drop down for you will subtract divide we want the crop so what we're going to do is go back over here to our image we're going to select the entire image again and then we are going to crop it now what we have here is some leftovers because this is the inside of this image so what we're going to do is go back over to our bread shape over here and select trace area once more we're going to select the entire area again we're going to make sure all of it is yellow again and then instead of doing trace the outer edge we're going to trace the inner which is just trace once again it will have the red outline you're going to trace you're going to select the entire area again. Then you're going to go over here to your rectangle and circle. And we are going to crop it. My computer is moving a little slow. Now it has cropped. As you can see, the white areas are gone. And now we have a completely transparent background. With our image, you can enlarge it more if you want to. And now you can see that the entire thing is indeed transparent. So you're going to go to Cricut Design Space app. If you haven't downloaded it, just type into your search bar <clears throat> Cricut Design Space and it should pop up um, a download menu and then you can download. I am subscribed to a $10 subscription for this. Um, I don't know if you can use it without it or not. Um, so if you do have it, then you're going to click on it, you're going to make a new project, and then you're going to go to upload your image. And I'm going to do the mom of one now. So you're going to click on your image, open it up. Then you're going to click continue. Now they have a automatic background mover, remover here. So um, it will automatically um, take you to this page. And then you can click remove background, which I don't like to do because sometimes the image is not as crisp. So I like to do it manually. So you're going to select um, manual. And then you're just going to bring this little cross to your image and click on it. And everything is there. It's crisp. I love it. What you need. Okay, once you have done it manually then you can apply and continue now Cricut has started this new they've updated their app 
and now you can do whatever image you have in layers if you wanted to do um, a SVG um, with vinyl or iron on HTV you can do that they also have a single layer um, images if you wanted to do like a clear HTV vinyl um, for your sublimation that you've already printed out you can do both but I am going to use the flat graphic today so you must click on it and then hit continue now you have your image you can save it if you want to you can add it to whatever collection you may have I am NOT going to do this because this is probably an image that I'm not going to need again um, because how many times does your child graduate from high school once so I'm probably not going to need it again so you're going to upload it when you get to this point and add it to your design space now this image is a 9.8 by 8.1 you can resize it if you like and um, before now Cricut did not have a print then cut that was larger than um, eight inches by seven or six or something like that if I'm not mistaken but they have upgraded and now you can have your print then cut image any size you like um, sometimes there'll be an error message here if you haven't changed your settings let's say that you need to change your settings you can go up to your name a drop down menu will come and then you um, select settings you go to load type and right here print then cut page size click on it a drop down menu will appear and then they have different ones right now I am in the 11 by 17 tabloid um, I've tried this one and it works fine if you have a, um, a larger printer but for me, my printer size is 8.5 by 11. And because I'm not going to be cutting this image out using my Cricut machine, I always like to choose 11 inches by 17 inches because it would allow my entire image to print um, at the size that I have it, which is, I think, a 10 and a half by 8. And then it will not um, print the... Um, the registration lines because you really don't need that if you're not going to be using your Cricut machine to cut it out because this is a sublimation image so I have this and it gives me my entire image one side does have the registration um, marks on it but for the most part it gives me my entire image the size that I need without cutting anything off so that is how you do a transparent background with Cricut Design Space Alright, and here we have our image. It looks great. As you can see, the bottom was completely cut off. But thankfully, we do not need um, the registration marks because they were cut off too. But we don't need them because this is a sublimation. Um, and it is not a true print to cut. These are the side-by-side -side comparison between the um, sublimation. This top one is sublimated onto clear HTV vinyl. And this one is the DTF pack with sublimation um, ink. And in person, as you can see in person, this one is just a little bit, um, it's not as vibrant. You can see it a little bit. It's just not as vibrant as the sublimation by itself. And this is with the sublimation ink on DTF transfer sheets with the um, powder. And I gotta say, I'm loving the vinyl the um sublimation on the um HTV vinyl way 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 better than the hat it's just more vibrant I imagine with some things you would prefer to use the hat but for this graduation shirt I gotta say this is the clear winner 
uh, thanks so much for watching I'm, I'm glad that you came if you enjoyed this video then please subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button thank you see you next time